Hey everyone, and today we're doing a Let's Talk on the Mezco Toys 1 12th Collective Superman Man of Steel Edition. And this figure went up for pre-order two days ago on August 11th, and I'm two days late with this Let's Talk, which isn't typical of me, but I'll tell you why. I've tried to film this very video twice now before this, and each time I've spoken for 20 minutes plus, and I realized I don't even want to sit through editing that, so I'm going to try and condense my thoughts into hopefully around eight minutes. But there is a lot to talk about here. There is a lot to say about this figure and I am so excited, which is kind of a problem because it means that I'm not being as objective as I want. And I'll put this question out there right now. You've probably seen this figure before, but if you haven't, does this figure meet your expectations? Or after watching this video, are you as excited as I am? Or are there some things that you think are missing? Is this lazy? I just want to know what your thoughts are. Are you going to pick this up? There's a hefty price tag attached, which we'll get into, but please just let me know. Is this Superman getting into your collection or not? And the price tag is hefty. It is a whopping $125 on both Mezco Toys and Big Bad Toy Store, and it is scheduled to ship between May and July of 2022. So practically a whole year away, which is a long time. It's a long time to set some money aside if you're gonna buy this figure uh, so that's always nice and that could be delayed we've been waiting for a lot of Mezco figures and they've been delayed each month for like three more months so hopefully this comes out during its expected time but it's possible that it won't but getting to the figure itself and it looks beautiful and I'll talk about that price tag but just overall the proportions of the body the colors of the suit and the head sculpt which I didn't like at first but it grew on me all culminate into a beautiful, wonderful, exceptional representation of my favorite superhero of all time. Superman is my guy. He represents a lot for the entire world, and he's just a fictional comic book superhero, but he's more than that. And I think if Mezco is going to make a Superman figure, if they're going to make one definitive comic Superman figure, I don't mind this price tag, especially given the accessories that come with it. I'll put up all the images in a slideshow of sorts, but I'll talk about a few of them that stood out to me. And let's start with this one, because this image right here brings this figure to life for me. Obviously it's photoshopped and everything, but the actual figure itself looks larger than life. He looks iconic. He, if you were to tell me that this was a three foot statue, I would believe you, but it's actually a six inch toy, which is just, incredible it's insane and this image right here is one that blew my mind the just the overall look and the feeling of this really made my heart happy it felt like i was looking at a comic book panel but it's actually a toy it again it looks huge even though it's six inches it's crazy what they've been able to do here with this now we will talk about the features for these images and this one says it includes a head portrait with heat vision light up function which what does that mean, right? Because up until now, all the light-up features for 112th Collective figures have been at the base of the neck, which hasn't allowed head movement to look up, but this is a Superman figure. So I'm hoping that the figure will be able to look up and he can fly with his head facing the right direction. And if we go to this image right here, it does look like his head can look up. It looks like there's neck articulation at the base. So it's possible that the head portrait with heat up vision light up function is actually in the head now and not the neck, which would increase posability, which would increase the overall fun of the figure. And so I'm hoping that's the case. It's hard to say they don't they don't specify that, but given the images of him looking up and being able to tilt his neck even a little bit backwards bodes well for that idea. I'm not sure if they're using the same fabric as the Christopher Reeve Superman. I'm guessing they aren't, but it's going to be very similar just to add some difference between these two figures. Obviously they look different, but if they're using the same exact fabric, I could see people saying that it's lazy in some ways. And genuinely overall, there's just there's just so much fun to this figure, I think. And it's Superman and that's a, you need him if you're doing a Justice League, you need him in a DC display. Even if you just like Batman, you kind of need Superman somewhere. And so I'm just excited for it. Now it says it includes the cape features integrated posing wire, which means we're getting a 
wired cape, which Mezco is doing way more of, which is nice. And some of the accessories they include are the, is this Black Mercy creature, which attaches to his chest and he'll go to sleep and think about a life he never lived. The heat vision effects, which uh, I believe there are two of them. He comes with a Starro alien, which can grab onto the figure's face, which just, I just saw the Suicide Squad movie, so that's what this makes me think of. And the fact that I thought of that made me want to, maybe want Mezco Suicide Squad figures, classic or the movie versions. But a, a Mezco Captain Boomerang, maybe with a Mezco updated Flash would be really cool. A Mezco Rick Flag, Mezco Deadshot, Bloodsport, Polka Dot Man. You know, that that movie brought a lot of fun characters to the big screen, and I think Mezco could have some fun with their relevancy right now. Anyway, he comes with a Kryptonite trophy, it looks like. He comes with a Phantom Zone projector. And let's, let's move on to the accessory list, which shows the figure and all the stuff that it comes with. Because he comes with five interchangeable heads, the first one, it throws me off a little bit, if I'm being honest. I don't really know what that expression is supposed to be. The second one is a smirk, uh, kind of a confident smirk, and at this point the face was still kind of growing on me. I, then he comes with a stern, serious, and the face, and then he comes with a pissed off, angry face. And finally he comes with a gentle smile. The other one's kind of a smirk, but the one that's on the figure in this image is a gentle smile, and that is the favorite head sculpt for me. And it, there's no doubt that Mezco has gotten better with their head sculpts in the past year alone. Then it says he includes interchangeable light up heat vision head portraits. And again, does this mean that the light up function is in the head now or is it still in the neck? We'll have to wait and see. He comes with, it looks like they use the same faces, but that's okay because they have heat vision effects. So it's, a, it's still different enough, but he comes with a serious face and the pissed off face. He comes with two heat vision blasts, one normal one and one crazy one, and this is going to look so good with Mezco Darkseid. So good. Then he comes with ten interchangeable hands, which is quite a bit, and Mezco does that. They like their hands, so he comes with a pair of fists, a pair of grabbing hands, a pair of uh, relaxed open hands, a pair of flexed open hands, and some classic Superman soaring in the wind hands. Moving on to the second layer of his accessories, and yes, there is a second layer, which again, sort of defends this price tag. No, I don't want $125 to be the new thing for Mezco. I hate that the prices are getting closer to 100, if not past it by now. But if they're, again, if they're making one Superman figure, I'm okay with it. He comes with that Black Mercy creature, which is a classic Superman accessory. He comes with a Phantom Zone projector and the Starro Alien like we, saw, like we saw before. He comes with a Kryptonite trophy display and two accessories that weren't shown in the promo images. He comes with two punch effects, which is really cool and kind of fun and not something I thought he'd come with just because Superman figures are usually pretty boring because Superman himself is just so overpowered that he doesn't have much powers to show. So punch effects is gonna just be cool and fun to play around with. And he comes with three magnetic bullet ricochet parts, which are the only accessories that come from the original Mezco Superman figure, which I have and I like, but this one just looks better. And the last accessory image just recaps a few more things. So the two heat vision blasts, the head portrait with heat vision light up function, and the stand and support arm. And that's quite a bit of stuff. But is the price tag worth it? Well, for me, since he's my favorite superhero, he's my favorite character, I mean, I just like collect Superman stuff, yes. The question is, is it worth it to you? And that's only something you will be able to answer. $125, I'm just gonna keep saying it because it is up there in price. These Mezcos used to be like 75 to 85 and now they're hitting to the hundreds plus which is scary but if they are going to keep delivering amazing figures then i have no choice but to support them and there's a lot of stuff that they make that i don't buy uh all the the gomez stuff uh, it's not for me now i have the moth x and up until now that moth x has been the best superman figure definitively i think for a lot of people but this might dethrone that and i'm excited to see what happens and please again let me know what you think 
is this going to be the best Superman figure for a long time? Or is this just going to be another Mezco figure that has awkward proportions and zero posability? Those are the complaints I see people say the most. So please let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more content. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.